So a lot of you know that apes and humans share a common ancestor. So you know you're related. But did you know that you share a common ancestor with this tomato? Yeah. You're all related because you share a common ancestor. In this case, a grandmother, a grandfather, a great-grandparent. Similarly, if you go back enough generations, the ape that you see at your local zoo and you share a common ancestor too. But it turns out that our relationship to other living things goes much, much deeper than that. You see, all living things share the blueprint of life. That blueprint is a molecule called DNA. This orangutan and I share 97% of our DNA. And this chimp shares 99% of its DNA with me and you. But you probably already knew that, right? That we all come from apes. Well, to be more accurate, we share a common ancestor with apes that lived probably three to six million years ago. Just like you and your drunk second cousin Bobby have the same ancestor, a great grandfather that lived maybe a hundred years ago. But did you know that we also share a common ancestor with this tomato? The truth is there's only one type of DNA made up of only four different types of molecules called nucleotides. And all living things are based on the same DNA. It's no different. The only difference is the sequence of these nucleotides. By sequencing the genes of various organisms, researchers have found that all living things, plants, animals, worms, your dog, your cat, share common DNA sequences. So this confirms the mind-blowing truth that all living things shared a common ancestor. This common ancestor lived three to four billion years ago when Earth was in its infancy. Life was just getting started. This was probably a one-celled organism, and all the diversity you see on Earth today comes from this one-celled organism. And do you know that this, he, she, or it has a name? Yeah, it's Luca, last universal common ancestor. Just close your eyes for a minute and imagine that, that all living things are related. When you chop down that tree, when you kill a chicken, when you order mushroom on a pizza, you are literally destroying a distant cousin. We share 99.9% .9 of our genes with other human beings, 99% with chimpanzees, 90% with cats, 70% with a worm, 60% with a mushroom, and 50% tomatoes and onions. This mushroom and I share a common ancestor that lived about a billion years ago. It was later that mushrooms and animals like us went on a separate evolutionary path. Ever notice how eating a mushroom feels more like eating a chicken than a salad? This is not a coincidence. So the next time you order a pizza, just remember, when you put mushrooms on it, you're pretty close to cannibalism. You can see the resemblance, right? Hey, if you want to learn more interesting, fascinating, sometimes shocking stuff like that in five minutes or less, subscribe now. Or don't, if you don't give a bleep, but be sure to leave that comment down in the comment section.